I'm going to show you how to time stretch the tempo of any sample to fit your project. Let's get into it. You have your empty project. We're going to pull in our sample. I often use splice for my sample selection. So I pulled in the sample. Let's listen to it really quick. Now what a lot of people will do is they'll see, okay, it's 115 beats per minute, and here I'm going to stretch to 115 beats. There you can see the entire loop fits within a four bar region. Obviously like, okay, 115 beats per minute is cool, but Rage music kind of doesn't really sit within that speed. Rage often sits within 70 to 95 beats per minute. So what I'm gonna do is lower my tempo to 78 beats per minute. And what you can see is, oh no, my sample is no longer stretching within a four bar region. So what I'm going to do is click this button here, which is the time flex button. And you're gonna make sure it's turned on on your project window. And you're going to click polyphonic and polyphonic will allow you to stretch the sample without ruining the integrity of the sound within the sample. So here we're gonna stretch it all the way. Let's hear it again. What you'll see now is okay that that actually feels a lot more like a rage sample because i put it in the appropriate beats per minute so just to recap time stretch what you do you pull in your sample from splice oops there we go here it is, and it's at 115 beats per minute. You make sure you turn your time flex on and click polyphonic and stretch it out. Let's hear it back. If this video helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this from me. And good luck on your next projects.